Welcome to the channel. I'm here uh, today to start working on our floor. I need to make some sort of a... Look at this hand. This hand's always out reaching for something, but it never gets what it needs. But it's here, and I'm trying to explain. I'm going to be building up a uh, floor support. I raise this up so I have something to lay the floor on. I want to match the height of this. I just ordered some bungs from Bunking. I'm going to rest this on. It doesn't really make sense now, but you'll see it start to come together. But what I need to do now is make a frame rail. It comes up. It's elevated. It all ties together so I have structure for the floor to lay on the pressure of the rockers. So, I'm going to put my headphones in. I'm going to jam out to some Leonard Skinner. I got my short shorts on. I am ready to rock and roll. So let's get to it, boys and girls. things here is as I mentioned before we got some bungs from Bunking. This place is incredible. They sell any kind of assortment of steel, stainless, uh, aluminum bungs that you can use for anything you want from turbo piping to structural stuff. So I needed these to raise that floor up. Yesterday I got a lot of work done and we had a dreaded SD card failure. So it's a little sad but I'll show you what I did. I documented everything and uh, I'm pretty bummed that you won't be able to see me fabricating it but hey just a uh, Time machine forward. So as before, we have the actual console getting made. As you see, originally, I think I, the octagon shape is pretty ugly, right? And then in my mind, I knew it was gonna make sense. I think it was gonna make sense. And now as I see it laid out here, it looks pretty sick. So I started chopping this thing up to make it almost look like a stealth fighter. So I got this all done yesterday. This is the, how the whole top of the tunnel is gonna run. And I got the back panels cut out. That's all set now. So what I'm gonna do now is actually start working forward, working way back and filling all the gaps here to make this thing round and tied to the floor. It's time to start building this up. So I'm gonna come from here, come in, and then I can start building the sides. I wanted to go from here to here, but the angle was too uh, too intense. And I wanted to keep this really uniform. So I'm gonna go from there. I also have to get that relief for the plugs on the other side. So I need to make sure I don't cover those up. So I'm gonna get these done and then I'll start building out. So I'm actually really excited about this. It's such a cool piece. With my little fighter jet, my little fighter jet. I'm actually really, really excited about this. So it came out, it looks like some sort of a stealth fighter. Yeah, I just, I don't know, it kind of just flowed together when I started to cut all the shapes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and silicon bronze this thing, try out the warp it. I'm gonna just take my time and just stitch it together until it's all done, then I'll blend it in and this piece will be done. Excited. She has taken shape. I mean, it's at least a little bit more sanding and polishing and a little more jibba jabba. But as you see, we have our cell fighter pilot cockpit console. I think it's pretty cool looking. I gotta go in there and finish sanding it. But for now, the general structure of it is done. So before I finish welding it into the car when it's done, I'll uh, come by and take care of some of the little blemishes. But I'm pretty stuck, man. That's cool. Now we're backing down to frame town, drilling some holes. Here we go. Easy peasy. So we got all the holes all drilled with our makeshift drill press. As you see, what's gonna happen is this bolt is gonna recess inside the floor. I can work the camera and my finger at the same time. And boom. 
So now we have a recessed hole, the bolt to go through, this is gonna anchor it to the studs or the bungs on the frame. So if you ever have to take the body off the frame, you just undo these bolts, the whole frame gets tied off from the chassis itself. So I'm pretty excited about that, so let's lay this in and get it straight, and then we'll tack the bungs to the frame. All right, so I'm really liking the way the floorboard's coming out, but uh, I think I wanna add some more structural rigidity to this thing, so I'm gonna do some cross beams. The material we use is actually pretty light, so I don't know where the seats are gonna go, but I think for now I'm just gonna add some supports this way. We'll do like a W shape. Then I wanna put it spaced out so we can put our cool in the middle. I stole the cool off my Chevelle and kind of matched it up and I figured out how wide this is gonna be. So I'm just gonna mirror image two beams this way, get that going, do it to the other side and wait because we have to get some bolts for this, for our bungs, I'm gonna weld this in and these two pieces will be done. got the basic structure of the frame I'm gonna go ahead and start tying it outwards so I'm just gonna come from here to there set it directly in place in the middle of the frame get some outriggers going uh, we're just gonna start building this whole thing up towards an actual floor make it all perfectly level that way I can just drop my floor on it and call it a day and we're racing so let's go ahead and make some outriggers I got ten and three quarters we'll cut those up sand them up and uh, tack them in All right, so now that we have our width adjustments for some support over here, I was also thinking, I didn't really like this. I don't want to be Fred Flintstone in this thing if we uh, decide to put our foot to the panel. I don't want any warpage. So I'm going to start building this frame around here, the transmission, and come out here. So I'm going to hand these to Victor. I'm saying these will get the width appropriate, and I'll start building this frame out. Victorino Bababino for uh, doing yeah. some awesome sanding. Get the get the boop beep beep beep. <laughs> what is that again? Get the boop beep 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 beep. Yeah. <laughs> so we got we got the layout of the frame all set. Uh, of course, it's got to be finished welded, but we want to check it out. I got my supports to the outside, and uh, you know I got I don't have a jig table, so I do it on the floor and I use my little fingers to push things down and make it tight. So let's go see how it lines up. If you guys haven't found out, Victor is Spanish. We don't speak Spanish, but that's how we yeah. communicate. All right, let's do the other one too, buddy. Yeah. 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 Next thing up is we got to shim everything up and weld her in. But for today, I think that's a good day. Let's call it quits. But look at that. We got a little footrest. We got some bolts. We got some things. We got some, some brackets and tabs. We got some real structure. Looking real cute. Cool. I'm excited. What do you think, Victor? Do you like it? Good. Very good, bro. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Woof. Howdy doody. We got the console semi in, and then we have center console. 